welcome back to the second beehive. Hopefully this one goes smooth. The first one that I ever did seemed to go okay. Get this guy out of here. He's in the wrong spot. So essentially I gotta take the queen out, put her on one of the top bars, put the bees in, put her in the bee cluster to help get a couple bees on there so that they can call in the other bees and cluster around the queen bee eventually. I gotta put a marshmallow on the queen cage because it's corked off right now. So there's a cork blocking the exit hole. And they'll chew through that and in a few days and she'll be released to start laying eggs. Here goes round two. They don't really care for creaking sounds. Uh, I guess it's supposed to simulate the tree breaking or falling down in, in nature. So when that happens, they get a little bit uh, antsy. So they're going to get a little bit antsy. I kind of need that top in one piece. The queen cage is stapled. So now the uh, feeder is way down in there. I don't know how I'm going to get this out of here. Attempt it with my hive tool. less than spectacular here. Essentially the only thing holding this can up right now is the queen cage, which I'm not too fond of. There we go. There goes a the helicopter. Now this side's jammed way down there. If it went smooth, what fun would that be, right? Now I got one bee that's going to get killed. It should just lift out, they say. Ah, oh, there we go. From what I've read and what I've seen, slow and easy is the best way to deal with these. Now I'm going to need my cover. Not too bad, not too many on here. We'll set those guys there so that they can find their way to the hive in a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm sure they enjoyed that.
So you shake it off. I don't know if it'll show on the camera very well. The queen does have a white dot on her thorax. So hopefully that'll help identify her later on during my beekeeping. Gotta shake those bees off of everything, I guess. I gotta dig out. I guess I could just do this side. Yeah. I didn't notice it on the first one, but the one side has a candy filled hole. So you don't even really need the marshmallow, you just gotta take the cork out of it. That's in case they do decide to eat all the way through that candy during transport. So that saves a little step. Put that marshmallow out there for the raccoons or something. Now we dump. Get out as many as you can. Introduce the queen cage into the cluster. Ten fifteen seconds is all that'll take. Now we close them up. I don't know if you can see on camera, but they're crawling up the sides, which is exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Got one there. So this one has a little bit different feeder style. Oops. If you look, you can see there's jars in there that are upside down rather than the uh, standard bucket, which is, is pretty common. We'll see how that goes. If it doesn't work for me, I'll have to just uh, go to the uh, standard bucket. That seems to work the best. I'm going to try to get a couple of these bees out of the places where they're not supposed to be. get them up flying they'll figure it out but they can't be in here and I'll never make it they want the sugar water that's for sure which is a good sign try to get as many out as I can We'll come back in a few days, see how things are going. <laughs> 